Well, I hope that was enjoyable, or at least a distraction. I purchased this vice a long time ago, specifically to refurbish on YouTube, because it was cheap. Like, second tier box of beer money cheap. At the time I thought my channel would be all about restoring small tools like this, but then I became sidetracked. <laughs> the only reason I pushed ahead with this vice is because I had an idea for a thumbnail involving exploding flour. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Plus I figured cleaning up an old vice will make for a quick and easy video. But as you just saw, it didn't turn out to be that quick or easy. I was surprised at how flogged this vice was, considering that the concept is a little bit useless and normal vices are plentiful. However, someone used it to death and then painted over everything. I mean everything. Speaking of painting, I decided to paint the sides of the main vice, even though these would have originally been cast iron. I know, painting the sides covered up the Yankee stamping. But hey, it's still there, under a layer of paint, for the next guy to discover. The trickiest part of this quick cleanup was boring out the smashed up internal thread and replacing it with a bronze insert. Using the MyFit inappropriately as a boring machine was fun, it just takes a long time. There are no instructions for how to bore out a reverse hole by mounting a boring bar backwards in an offset chuck. That said, it went surprisingly well. Making the bronze nut? Not so well. I don't have a carbide insert set up for internal threading, so I carved my own profile out of a piece of high speed steel. For whatever reason, I couldn't quite get the profile just right. I've ground my own threading profiles before for external threading no problem, but grinding a little nib for an internal thread proved to be a bit more difficult. The profile on the inside thread is a little deeper and steeper than it should be, so not ideal, but it feels okay for now. Perhaps the fact that I've held the insert in place with just Loctite is a bit controversial. Well, if it slips, I'll fix it. I did think about locking the bronze insert from the underside with a grub screw, but I really don't think it's necessary. Now, I know you guys will pick up on this. Yeah, I lost the screws that hold the name tag on. They sat in the corner of my workbench for a long time. Eventually I decided that I should put them somewhere safe so they won't get lost. And that's where they rest to this very day. Somewhere safe. I'm sorry screws. So now, the finished vise. How good is a convertible bench and a machine vise? Well, this one's a bit average to be honest. The swivel base actually feels really good. The locking mechanism is a true locking taper with a meaty bolt through the middle. The not so good part is that the vise is really only held to the base by the pressure at the end of this little grub screw. If this screw is a smidge loose, the vise will annoyingly rock all over the place. I don't know if that will prove to be an issue or not, but considering that the vice weighs about 25 kilos, the little screw seems like a ridiculously weak link in the chain. But really, this vice is all about the novelty, and I'm not going to bolt it down and hit stuff in it. I have other vices to do that job. So I think I'll just use it as a heavy thing to hold stuff. I know that's literally what a vice is, but you know what I mean. I think that sums things up. So to the five of you who saw this video pop up and thought, yay! Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. To the rest of you who are here for Land Rover content, <laughs> but suffered through to this point anyway, extra thank you. And of course, thank you to those of you who support these silly videos directly. In any case, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>